welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Heather and I am a Catholic mommy youtuber I absolutely love the Catholic faith I love children I love homemaking and everything to do with all those so if you are new here definitely hit the little subscribe button down below hit the little bell button and it's absolutely free to subscribe and I hope that you will join me in this community that we have started here on YouTube so in this video I'm going to be talking about different ways that we can help Advent kind of come alive for our children and just to help our children to kind of grow closer to Christ during this time because this time is a time to grow closer to Christ and kind of quiet our hearts and just to you know think about Jesus and the coming of Jesus and all of that with little kids it's hard because they're all about Christmas presents and Christmas toys and Christmas cookies and you know all those fun things but really in the Catholic faith we're supposed to be quieting our souls and trying to grow closer to Christ and so we want to teach that to our children so let's get started in the activities that will help our children to grow closer to God the first thing that I want to encourage you to do is to make a list kind of like this I'm gonna put this in the description box down below so don't feel like you have to write all these down really fast but a list like this you know you'll see on like Pinterest people have like a list of you know 30 things they want to do during you know Christmas season um, which is actually Advent season and so they'll write you know they want to have hot chocolate and wrap presents and you know all these you know kind of materialistic things which you know it's fine to each their own but in the Catholic faith this should really be a time of like reflection and quietness and really giving because Christ is all about giving and his whole life he was constantly giving if you think about how he was born he was the king of all kings and he was born in a little humble stable like that is amazing and so we want to make ourselves little during this time so I came up with this list it's called Advent Family Giving and it's just ideas to help us grow closer to Christ and to give during this Advent season. Now I have a whole bunch here and I'll read it off to you. Don't feel like you have to do a huge list like this. If this overwhelms you then maybe pick you know three or four things or ten things whatever your limit is or maybe like have a list like this and cross off different ones that you decide as a family you want to do I do encourage you to get your children involved and maybe they can help come up with their own ideas that they want to do in the season of giving um, so let me just read off these are just some ideas obviously you and your family can take any of these ideas or add or subtract whatever it is so uh, pray the family rosary for those who have nothing or are lonely volunteer at a soup kitchen as a family uh, write a love letter to your grand to the grandparents the children do that uh, visit a nursing home and visit and love the the older generation you know a lot of them are so lonely at this time so just be with them and they love children most people do so bring your children to love on them draw pictures for neighbors uh, send Christmas cards go to adoration as a family so just choose a holy hour to to pray maybe you can't take a whole hour you know maybe you have little ones like me um, and an hour would just be overwhelming so just go for a little bit and help them to quiet their souls and to be quiet and just to kind of give their time to God um, act out the live nativity sponsor a child make goodie bags for the homeless so we've done that before where we'll add you know different gift cards in there and you know different snacks and drinks and stuff like that and we'll just pass them out to the homeless people who have nothing on the side of the road so go to confession this is a season of repentance so we want to clean our souls as much as possible um, so go as a family if you have kids that are you know age appropriate to go to confession definitely go uh, pick out some toys for the kids who have nothing maybe toys for tots type of thing um, or the angel tree if your church does an angel tree pick an angel or two the next one is make a meal for a priest or maybe cookies or you know some kind of goodies um, and invite them into your home too definitely you can make them a meal drop it off or invite them in for dinner during this time really anytime I feel like priests would love that watch the movie a nativity story 
story. That's a really good one. Keep a prayer journal during Advent. Do an Advent Novena. There's a couple of those. I'll see if I can link some down below. I'll try to remember to do that. Um, the next one is if you have little kids, Brother Francis has a really sweet little movie. I recommend that one. It's all about Christmas. So right before Christmas, maybe watch these little like Christmas movies so that they really understand what it, Christmas is all about. Um, go through all your things and just get rid of things like this is a time to just purge get rid of things I do this in the month of November but if you haven't done that maybe it's a time to do that you know where your kids get rid of things that they don't use anymore make a meal for a family that has a lot of children uh, a lot of moms who have lots of children that can feel like they're it's just constantly making meals do something nice and even if they don't have a lot of children make a meal make meals for people um, call a friend you haven't talked to in a while or a family member. So these are just ways that we can give. Most of these are free, just um, offering your time and loving people. That is what, you know, this time is about. It's a time of giving. And, you know, so much of our society says it's a time of receiving and give me, give me, give me. And it's really not like that. We need to teach our children that that's not what it is. Which leads me into... Um, the next little activity I want to share with you, this um, is the giving manger. And this is really sweet. Um, we did something similar to this growing up. So what it is, is every time that your child does something sweet or good for somebody else, they're loving them. You're kind of teaching them to love them. So you'll take a piece of straw, they will, and they'll lay it in the manger. And so throughout the Advent season, it'll slowly get you know fluffier and fluffier. And then Christmas morning, you take the little baby Jesus, which this is like very heavy duty, sweet little baby Jesus. And I just, I love the simplicity of it. It's very nice and simple. And so it'll be all full of the hay and then you can lay the baby in the manger. And I just think that's the sweetest idea because it's helping the kids to actually visibly see that, you know, their good actions is helping Jesus. You know, it's kind of an interaction thing, which, is so great for children. They need that to kind of let it click inside. So now this one actually came with a little book and it kind of explains that. It's a sweet little story actually. So I would recommend maybe reading this and then um, and then showing them the manger and what they do and that sort of thing. And I feel like that would be a really sweet tradition to start within your family because it really does show loving Christ, you know, in a, in a visible way for little kids. Okay, so another idea that I really like is instead of Elf on the Shelf, which is really big here in the United States, let me know if that's throughout the world or just the U.S., but it's all over in the stores here and people talk about it, it's on Pinterest, but I like the idea that somebody told me just recently of having Joseph and Mary. So starting in Advent, the beginning of Advent, you kind of every night like hide Joseph and Mary and it's kind of their way making the way to the stable. So they're eventually going to find the stable. So last year we did St. Nicholas. So I'd hide St. Nicholas in different spots and the kids would try to find it and they loved it. But I kind of like this idea even better to hide Mary and Joseph throughout the house and then they'll get to the stable the 24th and Jesus will be there you know on Christmas the 25th so I thought that was just the cutest idea these are just little people um, that my kids love but really any nativity set with Joseph and Mary would work so um, love that idea it kind of adds a little spin on the Advent season Okay, so another really sweet thing is this. This is a Brother Francis, love Brother Francis, but this is the day, days of Advent. So what it does, it explains in the movie what Advent is at first, and then every day there's a little, um, like a snippet, like maybe three or four minutes long, and it kind of gives them something to think about that day, a little prayer, um, kind of teaches the Catholic faith in just little three to four minute increments. And so every day during Advent, you'll watch a little like three or four, four minute thing, and it's teaching the Catholic faith, and they're praying, and you know, it's really sweet. I really love it. 
this is, you know, it just came out, so this will be the first year we did it, but me and the kids um, already looked at it, and it's really, really sweet. So I like this, so I share this every year, but I absolutely love this. This is the Advent Jesse tree. I have a whole video on how to do this, but it really helps my children to grow closer to God and to prepare for the coming of Jesus. There's a Jesse tree, so you have a tree and ornaments. I'll put the video up there. I'm not gonna get into it, but it's really, really sweet, and it really does help my children to grow closer to God, which is the whole point of Advent and motherhood, um, is to help our children to grow closer to God. Anyway, those are just some ideas to kinda get the kids interested more about the coming of Jesus, not just Christmas, but the coming of Jesus, because that's what it's all about, is preparing our hearts for God. And we wanna teach that to our children when the world is screaming at them that it's about toys and you know all of these materialistic things. When it's really the opposite of that, it's really about loving Christ and growing closer to God. And um, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I will see you all later. God bless. Bye.